All right, we're here in the garage, lesson number 44. And today we're going to be talking about the chakras. All right, so point out the chakras on that poster there, so explain them. The root. Point, point to them, go ahead. The, the, the root. Root chakra. The, the sacrum. Uh-huh. The sore plexus. Right. The heart, the right. throat, the third eye, and crown. Right, remember we watched that video on the... Uh, and, Last airbender and the way to get about the, the chakras. And, the, and so the chakras are a snake and the It's way, a serpent, it's a snake, and right. And you eat onion banana juice. Right. Like, <laughs> I, right. I, I don't know. And so it's, it's now when the chakras are connected, that's uh, called the kundalini. Say kundalini. Kundalini. Right, which is signifies a serpent or a snake, right? And All right, so we're continuing to read the, the secret, secret books of the Egyptian, Egyptian Gnostics. Gnostics. All right, so what page are we on there, son? We are, we are on page 292 and page 293. All right, go ahead and start reading. Know and believe that the serpent at the beginning of creation was indispensable to order of the world. Right, so the serpent is the kundalini. It says the, the serpent was indispensable to the order of the world. Mm -hmm. So long as he kept his place and he was a great servant created to bear the yoke and servitude of kingdoms. Right, so the Kundalini, which is the serpent, is actually a servant of you. It serves you, you're mm -hmm. the God. His head reached high above the earth, and his tail reached down even into Sheol and Abaddon. 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 Right, Sheol would be equivalent to the root chakra down for, there. For in all worlds there was a place for him. Right, in all worlds there is a place for the serpent, the mm -hmm. Kundalini. And he was needed for the ordering of all the chariots in in its place. Known to the Sefer Vetsira, Vetsira, i.e. the book of the creation, it is he who moves the spheres and turns them from the east to the west and from the north to the south. Right, so he is he who moves the spheres. The spheres are the chakras. It is the serpent that moves the spheres, which is the kundalini. Without him, there would have been neither seed nor germination. Right. It says, nor will to produce any created thing. Right. That is the mystery of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Right. So that's the mystery of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So remember in lesson 11 when we read the story mm -hmm. in the Bible in Genesis yeah. of the snake, the serpent offering Eve the fruit, mm -hmm. the forbidden fruit. Right. So the stem of the tree is the spinal cord, which the chakras align upon. Right. Mm -hmm. And the forbidden fruit is what they call the third eye, the pineal gland there. Mm -hmm. Right? Continue to read on. If anyone has favored sight, he will see the beautiful image of the serpent of the serpent coiled up at the great commencement of the heavens and becoming for all born beings the principle of all movement then he will understand that no being is formed without the serpent. No being is formed without the serpent, baby. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. You are the God. Mm -hmm. Peace. Peace. 